Now I know on this channel we mainly talk about Halo and Halo-like accessories, but also with Xbox and games and news information that can be adjacent to Halo involved in some kind of capacity. And I swear that this story has potential to, to work with Halo. Okay, just follow me with this one, all right? Like it's, it might be a little off at first, but trust me, it can be Halo related if we think hard and strong enough, okay? I mean, it's been slow news, all right, guys? Come on, give me some slack because Netflix closes AAA game studio before it ever releases a game, which is just striking this, this thing that like they put so much time, effort, and especially money into a triple a video game platform to then just shut it down never even announce what they were working on and it was just it's just gone now like it's just crazy to think like how much the gaming industry back in 2020 when all these executives were seeing the numbers they're like oh my god the gold rush is here everybody make a game studio because it's gonna be easy money ha ah, yeah about that um it's not if anything, it's actually gone harder to make money off of video games than ever before. Uh, and you can see now that with Netflix, they're like, okay, I think we need to stop this whole like gaming thing that we're doing and we just go back to streaming whatever shows you like to watch. But the reason why I want to bring this up is that this might be Halo adjacent news or help Halo in some kind of capacity. Because if you guys don't know, or I'm sure you guys probably do remember that uh, one little key guy one little smarmy little smart dude over there at Netflix used to work at Halo, actually. And his name is Joseph Staten here. And you can tell he was the writer and creative director of building a brand new AAA multi-platform game and IP. This was at Netflix. If you guys remember Joseph Staten, he kind of came in last minute, basically for the last year or two of Halo Infinite's development to come in and try to one, get it course corrected, get it ready for launch, and then two, try to course correct it again when the game finally came out for release. And he definitely tell he tried his best, but eventually he did have to leave, sadly. It seemed like he was that kind of there just to get the game on course. And then once it happened, it was like, all right, we're out pretty much. Oh, at least with you, pretty much. But that's kind of what it seemed like, especially once uh, Microsoft Rails like, hey, I have infinite, ain't really it, chief, no pun intended. Well probably pun intended on that one. All right, so let's try to connect these stories together, right? You're probably already just making this assumption with me that like Joseph Staten is joining Halo now, right? Well, I mean, Halo, they're looking to hire and Joseph Staten is out of a job right now. I mean, it's kind of crazy to think like, the quality of uh, talent that they brought in for this team is insane. Like Netflix announced they're hiring former not Overwatch exclusive producer uh, Chuck Co Sunny, if I pronounced that correctly, and also high profile people from high profile franchises like Halo, we're talking about Joseph Stain and God of War. And now they're just like out of a job overnight, which is kind of crazy. But it's it's hard to see this man just because, like, it's you never want to see people leave or get you know kicked out or lose a job kind of thing, especially when they have such high potential, especially with, the, with Netflix. Man, like, how much money does Netflix have? Like, they have a ton of money. I don't see how they're able to not make this work out. You're probably thinking like, does what games has Netflix even released? Like, did why even get involved with it? They've actually released a lot of games recently, and it's uh, not really that much of a list you probably even recognize because pretty much all of the games that they have released are mobile ports. Like pretty much every single game on here is mobile based. Now I haven't played any of these. There are some Grand Theft Auto mobile ports on here, which is actually kind of cool. Uh, some classic ones like Minesweeper I saw in there as well, but a lot of unique titles. And my guess is that Netflix probably didn't really see a whole lot of success from these mobile games going out. I mean, like, look at how much they've pumped out. Like, you can play all these games right now, which is just kind of crazy to think, like, this much has been made already. And, like, it kind of, to me, just kind of fell under the radar. And, like, this is the first one I've seen, like, it's actually a Netflix show based off or Netflix game based off of a show you would think they have more integrations like that but you know it we are where we are right now but like it's just kind of crazy to think like they've released this much and then all of a sudden they're like okay with the games I think people really want to care about and play we're just gonna cut that off which I mean I think it just kind of goes to show like how expensive game development 
has become. But yeah, so let's round it back to the Halo size like things, right? How can this possibly affect Halo? Will we see Joseph Stain come back to the franchise that he built and loves? I don't really think so. And the main reason why is I think it was pointed out here by Rebs Gaming here over on Twitter, showcasing this article clip right here. And also talking about like the Halo Studios closed their creative director job listing a week or so ago. So, but the previous job that Justice Staten had as the creative director, mainly on the campaign side of things, uh, he can't have that job because it's already filled up right now, which is great to see by uh, Halo Studios that they now have a creative director they can actually probably push forward with a vision that they want to do for the next Halo project. Uh, and then I also went over just to see what's available. You know, I'm trying to help out Joe, see if he has any possible job offerings he could look into. Um, nothing really that would really fit him super well besides like dialogue supervisor. I mean, he did voice the grunts, but uh, <laughs> I'm just saying like right now, there really isn't much in the way of job postings that he could possibly get. Again, like he could possibly come in as like an advisor or something like that, uh, or just kind of like a high profile co-executive person i don't know there, there's multiple ways they can for someone like joseph stain you can definitely just make up a job if you want him on the team i doubt that he would come onto the team though uh mainly just because i feel like why why come back to halo after such a rough time with halo infinite right like it's it was not an easy time for him to jump in and play and it seemed like every time we saw joe on the stage talking to us it was always bad news like i mean there was the one time when you tried saying they're doing the drop pods right when it comes to the monthly updates of halo infinite and i think we got one drop pod and then nothing else <laughs> it was just kind of like that's the one big thing i always remember from joseph stain of all the stuff that he talked about when it comes to helping out halo infinite was like the drop pods and then eventually those drop pods not actually dropping or only dropping once uh that poor no, the poor lonely odst who had to be out there supporting halo infinite but <laughs> um i mean like, if i was joe like he's already made his name right in gaming he's already made his money at least i'm assuming so when it comes to like destiny halo and the, all the various other games he's been a part of as well that like if joe was going to come back to halo it would have to be a major role like yes yeah, like creative director or even higher up than that and it seems like three four three i'm sorry halo studios has already Spell out those roles for the most part. So I don't really see any capacity where Joe or maybe even Marcus Leto as well, because he's looking for a new job as well. Again, like he's kind of the same situation where it's like only if it's the right fit, he has enough creative control over everything. And we all know that like with Microsoft, that they can be a little controlling when it comes to how Halo is made. Uh Halo Studios, previously 343 Industries, were oddly prideful of wanting to make Halo their own kind of way. And I would think that like bringing in like new visions of what they want to do with the franchise compared to the legacy developers who helped develop the game and create that foundation that was so great. You would think there would just be some conflicts of interest and people not agreeing with each other. And bringing in some old guard like that could, well, one, be beneficial like we saw with Joseph Stane, but it also could be detrimental, like we saw with, like, say, Frank O'Connor in the Halo franchise. Like, it was, it's, uh, you know, it's not, it's not always sunshine and roses, like I say, when it comes to bringing back the old bungee guard over to Halo. But would you like to see Joseph Steen return to the Halo franchise? Let me know in the comments down below. Like, subscribe, and share if you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.